so I think this print is a good example showing how you can 3D print a circle cutout without using any supports. We're creeping up to the point where it feels like we would be printing into empty space and we'd run into problems. But just before we start to collapse into empty space, we'll connect with the other side. Got a tiny little gap there. We're gonna bridge that gap. See the little bridge it put on there? And there you have it. Now the real test is gonna see if I can actually print out the top of this thing without any supports. And I have designed it to be circular but I don't know if that's gonna work. So you can see it's starting to thicken up the walls because I have fillets in these corners that essentially round off this wall on the inside. This print is an example of how I completely redesigned the part just based on how I wanted to print it out. So this clip here has to be oriented this direction for it to be strong. All this thing is going to do is click on the top of my shower door and give me a place to put my phone so I can listen to podcasts while I'm in the shower without my phone getting wet. That's all this is. But I was having a hard time designing it to where it would print out easily without any supports. Because I hate supports. Okay. Moment of truth. Any filament coming down? Are we bridging that gap? It's a pretty big gap. I think it's working. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, yeah. All right. Interesting design, huh? You can see how I... I made that inside basically a, a dome or a circular dome so I didn't have to have any supports on this at all. Orientation is important when you're printing clips like this. Alrighty, here we go. Ta-da! You'll just have to trust me that the phone fits in there well because I'm holding the phone right now, but it works good.